There is another anime that I feel like is going to be amazing, but due to the interest of my monkey audience, and hey, they're my monkeys, and they're simply behaving the way that I am, the Monkey King, it's my fault. I don't think that you guys are going to enjoy this as much, but hey, I want to check it out. This is an anime about like back in the day, flat earth theory, you know, fucking science and people being burned at the cross, I think, because you're a heretic. How dare you? Uh, the setting seems very interesting. It's also done by Studio Madhouse. I know that there's two episodes out already, but I don't want to just like gamble and, you know, pump out two reactions. I'll check out episode one. If you enjoy it, we can have more of it. Let's begin today's reaction. Money for bread. <laughs> this is too real. To obtain rights, one offers taxes. Damn what the fucking taxes. <laughs> That's right, you gotta put in the work to get money. Your life. Orb on the movements of the earth. What the hell is happening here? What the fuck is he putting in this guy's mouth right now? Earliest 15th century, somewhere in the kingdom of P. P kingdom, bro. Finally, not a Japanese high school setting. Let's go. The slums. The poors. <laughs> Let's go, little kid. The fucking bawling old man is passed out in public. The little kid just hustled the boot out of him. Let's go. Everyone is just broke and poor, huh? But there's people like this in good clothing who are probably above, you know, average citizens. Ew, is that nails? That's nails. Yo, Nanami, what are you collecting fingernails for? What troubles people the most when their nails are removed? Well, once the nails are removed, it's like... Vulnerable open flesh, right? And it probably stings a lot, and you can get infected? I don't know. You can't hold objects because it hurts too much. What? You have no grip if you don't have nails? I didn't ever think of it like that. Like, does a nail somehow offer some sort of resist- No, it's a finger. Unless it's due to the pain that you can't hold onto the object. I don't know, that's crazy. I don't want to try this. <laughs> Incorrect. Oh, no shit, of course it's the pain. That's the fucking most basic answer. So we try to come up with like different shit that happens after the nails are pulled out. I'm getting cooked. My entire commentary is getting cooked, play-by-play -play basis, bro. This dude is destroying me. Literally. It's the simplest thing that seems to trouble people the most. I overthink way too much. I'm always trying to think between the lines and trying to theorize more and more, but it turns out... The most obvious answer, the simplest one, was right there and you're wasting time, but that's the content sometimes. <laughs> this guy's deranged. He's like laughing about it. Nail time. Like a church torturer. And we did like research on forbidden knowledge. <laughs> we started the anime with some torture, huh? Another nail then, maybe. I love how nonchalant this guy is because this is like who knows how many years he's been on the job, man. I just want to go home. You really gonna make me pull out your other nails? And the other guy's like, no, I will never let you have any of this knowledge. <laughs> yep. What about the toenails, bro? <laughs> oh, that's a lot of nails. 68? They're gonna keep pulling it out <laughs> until you give in. What lies at the center of the universe? I feel like if I give an answer right now, I'm gonna show you how ignorant I am of like my knowledge of space. But how does this shit work? Okay, first of all, the world is... Round, right? Okay, we got that first. 
What was the common knowledge in the past? People thought that the planets revolved around Earth, was it? Was that the misconception? People thought it was flat and beyond that, but didn't people think like, like the Earth was a center and everything was revolving? And then, I don't know who it was, it's a common mistake of Copernicus or Galileo. It's like, it's like this realization that it's actually the sun that every other planet is orbiting around. But this doesn't really have to do with what's at the center of the universe because this is within our own solar system. So I don't know what the center of the universe is. Hi. Oh, Kohansky. Kohansky. This is what they're teaching these kids at school? Some bullshit propaganda? Just gaslighting these kids? God's love? Guess what, kid? Your little brother's probably gonna die of bone cancer. Yep, because this is back in the day without modern healthcare, and he's just gonna die because of bad chance. And guess what? Is that God's love? Sure, cope with it. Okay. Rafal, what is it? Earth. Earth. How? How do you know? Aristotle mentions. Because heavy object falls downwards, and because of some kind of gravitational pull, and Earth is like the center. Is that your logic? Yeah, and we must be the center. I I I get the logic. Because, like, the idea is shit goes down. And Earth must be the lowest spear in the center because shit goes down. Does that make sense? There's, like, a logical gap here. But that's what they believe. Okay. Actual sun or... No. It's just, like, by title, I think. いや、とんでもない。自慢はここか。大学に行くことになった。おお、ユニバーシティ。わお。この5時生に理科がさらと。12-year-old Study of the nature of God and religious belief. Okay, all right. Is it? Isn't it just a mumbo jumbo hocus pocus? But back in the day, it is. Mm. Oh, humble. Or is he manipulating them? Seems to be a very bright kid. Honorable kid. <laughs> Monkeys. <laughs> Wonder if he's thinking that deep inside when he's like hiding his eye and I see his smile right now. <laughs> uh. He hasn't opened his eyes yet either. Very sus. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> Two. Steps ahead. Brainwash the ants. <laughs> Influence the ants. You are the ants. <laughs> this guy is not humble at all. Orphan kid. But using his brain, he made it out? So, father was literally a thing he, because he adopted him. Okay. Yo, this is the first Sigma male ever recorded in history. Bro ain't got time for bitches. He's locked in. He is locked in on the grind to live a comfortable life. Oh, that's the golden ratio. The <laughs> Yeah. But like the problem with this kind of living is that this is a persona and when the mask falls off, people realize who you are and people will turn on you. That's why I never like try to like sell you a side of me that I'm not. Like I'm never trying to be some sort of like morally correct white knight. I just call you a fucking monkey. 
I'm just my brutal honest self. And it's way easier to be that way because now you don't have to like worry every day of like, oh no, am I gonna slip up? This kid, if he slips up, what happens? <laughs> Humble brag. このご飯好きくんのように誕生日人は。すぐこのまし。まさに天才。いや。賢者。あ、セイジ。そんなそんな。ちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょ
Bro, I'm, I wonder how many years of this shit you need to, like, be faced with to turn like this. Like, he's like, please, I just want to go home. Burns faster. Oh, my God. <laughs> By this smell, it's only, like, 70% over. Bro, he is so just, like, desensitized, just normalized into the... Hubert, is that you? A wise man with the staff? Damn. That's you? Yapa! Nanda kono ayashita shika nai hito wa? Hajimemashite, Pototsuki no musuko no Rafao desu. Go onegaishimasu. Got a little bit of a scar in the mouth here. Kimi ni riiki o atae nai. This is not Yorokobe Shonen, but this is Tokiomi, right? Yes, Aizen, voice actor, Tokiomi. Is this Kire? I don't... Is this Kire or not? I'm not sure. Is this Tokiomi or Kire from Fate Zero? It's Tokiomi, right? <laughs> that sultry voice <laughs> acting, bro. Yeah, this guy's epic. He definitely knows the truth of the world, man. Teach me, old man, the meaning of the stars. Maybe he's been tortured so much that he has to rely on a walking cane. Yeah, the soundtrack is really setting this environment well. Oh? Yeah, 12 years old. Hi. Mm, the stars. Astrolab? That's, that's it? Okay. No, 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 no. Fuck theology. Mm. Insincere. I think Raffle for the first time got called out by his true nature. I think that this Hubert guy 100% knows his true nature. And him putting on this facade of, oh, this is just a hobby and going to theology. He's being called out right now? Or perhaps the pursuit of theology is insincere? I'm not sure. I think he's calling him out though, based on his fake personality. The true nature of the world, the stars. Reading our diary? Wonder what happened to his face? Is that all torturous too? Six magnitude star. Six magnitude star. It was mentioned before. Take me. I can continue my research with these. <laughs> Who knows how much time he's fucking served in there. It's like, never study this shit again. This is forbidden knowledge. Bad. Immediately. <laughs> like, he just comes out. Amazing. My research can continue. <laughs> he did not reform true. <laughs> Catch and release, baby. Yeah. Research, baby. No, 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 no. It's a little secret. Giga Chad. Fuck recant, bro. <laughs> Giga Chad. You, you didn't recant? Of course not. No. I lied to obtain my release so I can study my research. Duh. I guess he trusts the kid, huh? He just telling this kid everything, the secrets. Because he trusts you. He sees potential in you. Sorry. <laughs> Immediately we start the anime with like nail torture, pulling that shit off, crucifixion, right? Fucking gods and religion and like fucking science and the truth of the world. And this dude is like, yep, I'm gonna blackmail a 12 year old. Mm -hmm. You're in this with me now. Yep. You are an accomplice. You are my partner in crime. If I go, you go. Dude, his eye, his this eye went bad. His mouth. I'm sure this is all due to the torture that he suffered. Even the walking cane, right? It's probably due to the torture inside. And the young boy has good eyes. Giga Chad. I love this dude. 
I love this anime. But, ah, oh, fuck. Is this gonna work out on YouTube, though? Like, so far, of all the animes I've watched, like, of course I love Razor, but of the, the fresh new anime, just like season one, this is so captivating. Yeah, Down Dead On is very fun, too. But, like, this whole setting is so unique, so different. And, like, the stakes are so high right now. Please do well. <laughs> The resolve. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> to it. I guess he could technically like try to like rat on him and say he hasn't recounted and immediately get him executed, but bank on like him not able to like like well he has blackmail, that's the thing. We can't just report him. Cause like the star I'm sure he'll just like rope him in. Yeah, he can't just re report him. He'll go. He'll have to go to serve time too. <laughs> what do you mean? Isn't that unreasonable, bro? We just see that. Oh yeah, there's a better spot. There's a good spot, huh? Yeah, Yo, what the fuck was that? That's some crazy shit. But you'll get reported. Also, the truth, right? It's tempting. The potential for new knowledge. It'll tempt him. What should a rational man do at this point? Probably not go with what he wants. But the irrational hearts of human beings and this desire, this temptation of knowledge, the forbidden knowledge, we should do it. Whoa. And he went. And he folded. Damn, that was easy. The perfect spot. If only we had a telescope. Orion's belt. Orion. Betrugu. Sirius. What else is there? Yes. Yeah, Rigel. So, like, we just, like, estimate? So, back in the day with no telescope, we used this thing with whoever has very good eyesight to kind of, like, match the stars. And you can kind of, like, derive mathematical equations and make sense of constellations like this? Huh. Crazy. People used to just fucking eyeball it, bro. Like, just pure eyes, just looking at the stars. Subarashi. You truly do have the eyes. Sugoi. Expose the truth of the world. Bring down the church. Shape of the cosmos. There is no shape, is, is there? Because it's just this ever-expanding space of entropy. If there's, it's not a fixed encompass. Wait, is, 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 is there? Shape of the cosmos? Is it different from what I'm thinking? Those are all like the different planets and stars. Hmm. 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 Whoa, the middle is the earth, I guess. Nah, it was fake news. Nah, the arrogance of mankind to think that we are so special in this universe that earth would be placed at the center because God loves human the most. The arrogance and pride of human beings at display here. Is there a beauty in truth? I don't know. Is it beautiful or not? Is this beauty supposed to relate to how like mankind finds this? theory comfortable because we feel self-important and that's what the beauty is but the true nature is not beautiful i don't know where he's going with this Is 
バラバラな動きは見えないそういう観点から言えば the truth is あまり美しくないのは残念ですけど一つの秩序なんてあるわけないだからそんなこと問題にしてもしょう問題だ私は美こんなこと言ったって美しさを待つ天道ですよ But the beauty is the logic. He wants the truth. でもあの理屈の精度は違う動いて太陽が昇る限りね私も動かなかったなに<笑> What if the sun doesn't move? And what if neither the sun nor the stars actually move? Oh shit. Oh shit. He's onto something, bro. Maybe Earth isn't the center of the universe. Maybe the sun and the stars are actually fixed and we're the ones moving. <laughs> Not yet, it hasn't. Us right now. We're rotating. We're moving. Relativity. Gravity. Yeah. Yes. The sun is fixed and the earth rotates and the rising of the sun. It's not the sun moving up and down like that. It's us moving, but we can't tell it's moving because of relativity. Okay. He knows the forbidden truth. Heliocentrism mentioned. And that is today's episode. And they really made this whole, you know, this like understanding. Of course, to us, we learned this shit in school that the earth revolves around the sun, heliocentrism, and shit like that, right? But to like make such quote unquote dry topics engaging from the perspective of people back in the 15th century when this was not the common thought. When you challenge the school of theology, you get burned at the cross, you get tortured, you get put into these fucking camps to recant. This anime is phenomenal so far. But again, I just don't think a type of show like this is going to scratch the itch of my Oonga Boonga monkey audience, and it is what it is. I might have to watch this by myself, but that first episode. Phenomenal. I want to watch more. There is a second episode, but again, I'm not going to invest more until you guys have proven to me that you actually give a fuck. So, fingers crossed and nothing personal. It's all business, and that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.